Nearly done. Might as well put the sausage on here. Yeah, not the cleanest table, but uh, I don't mind. And now the sun came out. Ah. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't put it up there. <laughs> it's all black from soot. Yeah. And I am hungry now. to make this this is for rhododendron and they don't like to grow in yeah I won't call the dirt here soil because it's like gravel uh, and sand so I need to make my own and uh, they what I then don't really like, yeah, I don't know what you call that, uh, but anyway, needles from spruce and so make the dirt in, yeah, in a way, so what I then don't and like that, uh, like it. Hopefully, this is gonna work. Yeah. This and this I bought like <coughs> two, three weeks ago. And this here I brought from Denmark to the first place I lived for a year and I dug it out. There was two, one was dead and I brought this. And two years ago it was yeah, half the size of this and it was all dead. So uh, I thought, yeah. I'll give it a chance, gave it some fresh soil, cut it down, and look at it. <laughs> yeah? Now let's see if they survive the winter. Loads of small mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, hello folks. I made another flower bed. And uh, These small ones here, I'll throw this away here. I got five here and five here. That is 
hibiscus and uh, I found an old coffee filter in the spring uh, with hibiscus written on it and when I opened it it was a few seed capsules from hibiscus plants that I had in my garden in uh, Copenhagen and I think they have been lying in that coffee filter for yeah, at least 10 years and I tried planting those seeds in, uh, uh, in, in the spring or during springtime and uh, 10 of them have uh, produced a little hibiscus so now I made this as a nursery <laughs> there and here and uh, I hope they'll survive the winter and produce some beautiful flowers in a couple of years let's see they get I, I give them a chance to uh, to grow Second stringer. Let's see what I can get out of this oak lock. Watching this here crooked old oak and uh, I did cut the other piece of oak I had yeah I have more lying but not this wide um, but I'm gonna cut these in one and a half inch uh, instead of two inch like I did the other ones uh, those I'm gonna cut down to one and a half inch because I want to use these as steps on my stairs and uh, I hope I can get enough so I can make all the stairs so but it is very crooked and uh, I think it's gonna be beautiful with all these uh, patterns here and the grain looks wonderful. I'm so excited to look inside from each cut. Six good boards and a shorter one and I don't know which one is the prettiest <laughs> they are all looking really good ah, maybe especially those two pieces here or three pieces lying here I think they are gorgeous
Yeah. I got this uh, for clearing brush and so, but it's it's not working, and the uh, gasoline hose was broke. So now I'll try to fix that. Yeah, I think it's there. I've been trying to get this started a couple of days and uh, when I tried to mount the blade instead of the uh, nylon wire for grass and so this knot was missing and it's a left going and uh, I couldn't find it in town so I had my friend Daniel who I made all the boards for to his uh, for his shop, he ordered it and it came today. And I sharpened the blade and got new uh, gasoline hoses mounted. And this here air filter box was, uh, yeah, the screw that hold it in place was bent. And uh, it was loose, so when I tried to tighten it, it, it broke. So now I've got gaffer tape here or duct tape. But let's see if it works. I have uh, primed it, I think. Yeah. Let's listen in if it will start. Can start, yeah. I'll show you here all this, this here around where I uh, rolled down the logs, and it was full of, yeah, these that are growing everywhere, and the same here. I want to, I want to get rid of ah. I want to get rid of this. Yeah, sometimes you need to find some uh, odd solutions. I had this smaller piece of oak. It was uh, too short to reach between these. And uh, since it was that short, I couldn't put it up without my, something lying underneath. So I took a piece of oak and uh, two by, I don't know what it is, two by four, two by five or something, one and a half inch by five inch, maybe doesn't really matter. And put this up against it and to clamp it, these, so.
it should be enough length for yeah, stairs or steps. <laughs> I think I think I can get four pieces of uh, floor beam slash joists out of this but I'm yeah I can cut it halfway through that end but I don't think I can in that end so maybe it's the same problem uh, like the last one but then I'm gonna cut away a bit down there so I can cut them on the saw uh, instead yeah on the sawmill instead of uh, circular saw and chainsaw so I just need to yeah, get the top part removed or moved away and flip this one, the bottom one, up and adjust the height for the center. Yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah because it's very heavy piece on top uh, I uh, put a wedge in here to lift it up so it don't squeeze the blade this is heavy It's uh, late. Yeah. Cut the last two of uh, floor joists or beams. I got already. I got two more in there, and I got one up and another one lying. So I got six in all. Uh, I think I only have to use five, but I'm in doubt about. Play, the placing of my stairs um, maybe I'll move them and uh, then I could use maybe I could use one more yeah got the next one ready and, uh, I got three lying there and one there and uh, I want to get them keep them inside so they won't get wet I can feel this one is a bit uh, it's not bone dry so uh, I hope it won't <laughs> Sorry, I hope it won't 
spin or yeah make some funny things uh, as uh, as it dries up now when I put that one up it was uh, yeah a bit risky uh, it's close to five meters long and uh, the risk of dropping it when I put it up there was uh, not close but close enough to uh, it wasn't in my comfort zone and uh, I'm now trying a new approach I got a couple of straps here I was tied onto a rope and uh, I got a rope hanging from the ridge beam and my Grigge here to hold the weight so hopefully I can just ah, just I say uh, pull that rope and lift it from the ground and uh, have it hanging in this here direction and spin it round and get it up let's see <laughs> it's uh, it's been modified a bit. I uh, I couldn't lift it just by pulling the rope by hand or hanging in it. So I have uh, put up my come along down here on this side, and I started to pull, and uh, I could get it up. But since I'm pulling in that direction, I was pulling this, the whole rig or the whole setup in this direction. So I had to put up a rope from there to the wall over there to stop the pull this way. But now I'm just trying to adjust this half inch and uh, pull the next bit ah, have to move the ladder <laughs> yeah and another thing I can just reach this uh, so I think I have to yeah, maybe it's not going to be a problem when I get this up uh, and remove the tension. But let's see. For now, it's going okay. Ah. Because it's a climbing rope I'm using, it's a bit elastic, so I, uh, I pull on the rope and uh, tension is rising and uh, then instead of stressing the rope too much, I'm just lifting a bit here and I am uh, using the elastic in the rope to lift yeah, and I can see I need to do some improvement on the, on the balance <laughs> Yeah, got the third one up, and uh, now it's just to 
get one of those down there planed squared up and uh, cut in the right length make a dovetail full dovetail like this one and uh, lift it up in place worked perfect this one Yeah, that was the, that was number four, now it just needs one more. Yeah, I think it's time for dinner. <laughs> yeah, the last of the, uh, the, the floor beams for the sleeping loft. <laughs> hi, hi! Yeah. And uh, I hope in an hour, an hour and a half, it's up and then I can start cutting out for each one. See if it fits. Yeah. I think 
to have to take <laughs> a fraction off down here on each side. But now, ah, if it's all in, I don't know. No, it wasn't. Now it's. Now I can mark up the dovetail. and get that chiseled out. I think we're about there for a test run. Yeah, see how this pans out. Uh, inspection time up here. <laughs> Come here. It's uh, inspection time. Smile. Smile. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's a long way down. Yeah. Now we're together. Three down and one, two, and five at that end. <laughs> 